What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys part 3 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword and Shield the Isle of Armor. So guys in the last episode we got Kupfu and we became best friends with him and explored the island a lot. We actually checked out a lot of different places and checked it out to its fullest potential. But in today's video we can choose our tower which tower we're going to go to and probably evolve Kupfu into Urshifu. So if you guys are hyped make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on this brand new DLC. But yo getting started we got Diglett right here. I'm going to pick him up. I'm pretty sure I saw another Diglett back here so I'm going to give a quick peek. Yeah yo He's right over here. So off screen on my stream, if you guys want to check it out, link in the description below. Genius25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. But we've just been crushing this DLC, catching new Pokemon, trying to complete our Pokedex. But yeah, so if you want to check me out, hit that link down there, hit that follow button, turn on those noties, those notifications. But like I said, um, we get to choose between which tower we want to go to. We can either either make Cub Food water and fighting, or we can make him dark and fighting over on that one. But in my opinion, I'm going to go with the water and fighting one. I'm definitely going to go with the water and fighting one because Fairy is such a huge part of this game, especially if I want to use my Cub Fu or Urshifu in competitive, if eventually he gets uh, legalized in BGC. Then he can be water and fighting. Fairy is four times super effective. <gasps> Let me finish talking. He is four times super effective to the fighting and dark one, so I'm going to go with the water one. But yo, Licky Licky? Come here, boy. Come here, Licky Licky. Are you kidding me? I'm catching this thing. A wild licky licky, dude. We got our pulled scout here. I switched up my team a little bit, but I'm mainly going to be using my level 100 just to breeze through this. But I'll show you guys my team real quick. We got Cub Fu, Inteleon, Sandow, Larvesta, and Blastoise. The reason why I put in Sandow and Larvesta is to evolve both of them so we can actually just uh, complete our Pokedex a little bit quicker. But let me see. Can I just throw a Great Ball at this thing? Not a Great Ball, an Ultra Ball. I got 47 of them. But if he... If he's going to be a pain in the neck to catch, then I'm probably just going to try to U-turn out and do some damage to him. But come on, make it easy for me, Licky Licky. Three, come on, click down. Bruh, almost on the first shot. Yo, I saw this thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. This thing's belly jumping. Actually, that put it, put it down to half health, so that's good. It's actually good for us. But, yo. I saw this thing in my box. I just had a lick -a tongue and I was just like, I, I think you got a trade to a bobble. But then I just saw this thing in the wild. I was like, yo, come on, we got to catch it. Click it down. Bruh, three shakes, yo. But what a way to start off this video. This thing's gonna power whip, and that's physical attack, so that might actually do some work on us. Did a decent amount for plus six attack, and not very effective. Like, look at them going off. Going off. I really want this thing. Come here. There you go. Shake it up. Shake it up again. Three shakes. Click it now. Third time strong. Bruh, what you mean? This thing's three shake king right here. Slam doesn't affect me. We're coming after you again. I'm not leaving without this licky licky, dude. I think he's a rare spawn here. There's certain places have like rare spawns. I think Alkazam can spawn. I know Executor can spawn over on island. And bro, yo, another three. What you mean? What do you mean? Is he trying to lick me and stuff? Bro, licky, licky, yo. I love his design. He looks so dope. Come on, click it this time. Getting annoying. Getting annoying on me. I don't want a U-turn now. I feel like it's going to uh, kill it. Big old U-turn. So I'm just going to keep throwing Ultra Balls. We're coming pretty close, so. This one's the charm. I, I say the one after this. It's going to be the one after this. I think we're going to get a critical catch. He goes for another belly drum. Cannot. Hmm. Let's get it. Come on. Take this thing. In. Come on. Catch it. Catch it. This one, one I said it was. Bro, what you mean? All right. Uh, do I have a repeat ball? I have a repeat ball. Maybe we can catch it in that. Try repeat ball. I know I have a repeat ball. One repeat ball. Oh, that has been caught before. Never mind. This one will not do it. You know what? Maybe it will. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that was gonna say. I was gonna say <laughs> he's gonna go for a slam for a longest catch ever. I believe so. I believe so. Where are my ultra balls at again? Do I hit it with a master ball? Did you put that thing out there? Come on! I should have quick balls. Dude, quick balls work out very, very well. Come on, click it. Come on. Let's go. Finally, we got Licky Licky. He's such a cool Pokemon. And guys. I'm doing a playthrough right now, as you guys can tell, on the DLC, but rank battles will be starting very, very soon. If you guys want to build me teams with the new Pokemon, EV train them up, have them all ready to go for battle, like Pokemon like Kingdra team, Alkazam, Licky Licky, Magnezone, all those cool Pokemon, make teams surrounding them, and I will definitely play them using the new Pokemon on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested, interested in that, DM me your teams over on my Instagram at jeans underscore YouTube, or just comment on a video, leaving me the team, well, the Pokemon 
on the team, the EV spread, and all that good stuff. We got Psyduck showing here. What the, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a little Swoobat Drapion over here. Oh, different Pokemon are starting to spawn because it's different weather. That's pretty dope. But we are going to head over to this tower right here because it's the tower I want to go to. And look at everything spawning. Sarmi, Staryu, this is nuts. Yo, Toxapex on the beach, yo. I'm loving this aisle. I'm loving the aisle of armor so far. And I did upgrade my bike off screen. There's a person outside the dojo if you want to do it. Just talk to him and it, and it actually goes faster. But I feel like there should be a Diglett back here or something. There are two Pokeballs. Just don't mind if I do. TR Liquidation. Not bad. Yeah, you can upgrade your bike. It goes faster, which is pretty dope. It gets this cool little shine around it. And no Diglets? Come on, you're telling me there's no Diglets lurking around this beach. That's Cat. That's Cat. Actually, wait a minute. I'm going to check behind this little pole right here. Tell me they didn't throw one? All right, that's fine. But, yeah, I'm heading over to the Water Dojo right here. Let's check it out. I believe we get the Evolve Cup food to Urshifu on this tower. I think that's how you do it. You train him up here or something like that. Let's see what he got. Yo, what's goody? What's goody, man? Hello, jeans. Master has already sent the word. This is the Tower of Waters. It is a special training ground that only Kubfu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Kubfu is the only Pokemon on your team. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so go into our boxes. Take out everybody except for Cubbyfu. Okay, we need like an open box right here. I can actually switch this to Y so we can actually take everything out quicker. Cubfu, you're level 45. Will, will you do the job? That actually has to be like level 60. I'd be so mad. I'd probably just go do some raid dens and uh, level them up. But yo, looky, 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 man. <laughs> Dude, he's a man. I love looky, looky. But there we go. Kupfu is our only mod. Let me heal him up real quick. If we're going in there. I'm going to I'm gonna get a little bit of health on him. I have a hyper potion? Yeah. Just drop that on. There you go, Kupfu. It feels so weird using hyper potions. Like, I never use them. <laughs> but let's go. Kupfu is the only one on our team. If you raise your Kupfu to at least level 70, his training will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you best of five opponents. Or... Or defeat it yourself. Level 70? That is nuts. You wish to forsake in the path of darkness and follow the path of water? You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. See how it goes. If the Pokemon are too high of a level, I will just skip till I level up Kupfu and roll from there. Jeez, man. Level 70? What do you mean? Right, let's check this out. And I have no EXP candies. I wish I had a ton of them. That's good. This is a cycle of water. Just going with my cubby foo. Watch this thing's gonna be like level 16. Like, Bruh. Psyduck comes out. What you want, Psyduck? What level can this Psyduck really be on? Well, it's level scaling. Cub foo is. Oh, 65. Uh, yeah. Can we run? There's no run. Okay, just kill me. Just kill me. Come on, Cub foo. Do some work then. <laughs> we're gonna go for a bulk up. A little bit of bulk up action. Confusion. We're dead. That's one shot on us. Night night. See you, Kupfu. All right, we're going to be back. Actually, didn't one shot us, but we're going to be back when we leveled up Kupfu. He's kind of get a uh, teed off here. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. After grinding for some XP candies, we got Kupfu up to level 73. Now we are ready to take on this little water tower. Let's go, Kupfu. Let's get rolling here. I was raiding some dens. I had a few uh, XP candies and all that stuff, but then I needed a little bit more. So I went and raided some dens, got some XP candies, and now we're level 73. Look at that, dude. So easy. We're on the move. But here we go. Doing the water tower. Trying to, I guess, evolve Kupfu. I think that's how it works. I think once we get to the top, we can evolve into Urshifu, which will be amazing. But we're back for this Psyduck. This Psyduck doesn't want the smoke. We're here to take revenge on it. But let's get it. Kupfu seemed... I don't even know what it just said. But still, we're going for... Uh, I'll go for an aerial ace to get us started. Or Brick Break. We got that stab damage. Let's get it, Kupfu. Yeah. Nice damage. Kupfu, one tap. That a boy, baby. That a boy, Kupfu. Let's get it. <laughs> But beautiful. Now look how easy it is. Last time it was just like, all right, we can't even do any damage. But, but I got to remember, it's just a little side up. But I can't believe we had to get this thing to level 70. But not too bad. We got it already. It didn't take us too, too long. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's head up the tower now. Bro, I cannot wait to get Urshifu, man. Oh, my God. I think it's going to be so sick. It's going to be so sick. Let me know in the comment section down below. Which Urshifu did you guys choose? Did you go with the water tower, so water and fighting? Or did you go with the dark tower for dark and fighting? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know which one you guys picked and why but we're going up against a crabby a little bit of a cribby crabby you don't want the smoke yo look at his hands <laughs> i'm just gonna hit this thing with a close combat even though it drops our defense we should be chilling here we should be chilling close combat comes up big and oh my god cup food knock it off take a sip of our drink for a victory that was our victory drink right there do we get another level now we're close we're close but dang i probably could do this at like level 65 we're just one tapping things left and right, but make it easy for us. He did say 70. He did say 70 to make us train smoothly. 
but I thought we were going to be versing some harder Pokemon in this. We're versing Krabbies and Psyducks. Ready? This one's going to be a Corefish. I'm calling it Corefish or a Staryu. I feel like it's going to follow the suit of all water Pokemon. I'm going to go Staryu as my final choice. It's a Marill. Okay, Marill. People were saying uh, Azumarill is going to be big and competitive because it learns huge power. And then it's fairy and water. So that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So it can double its physical attack stat. Level 67 Marill. Oh, this thing goes first. Oh, it has Aqua Jet. That's why. Let me eat that up all day. We have 193 HP, which isn't bad. And ooh. Ooh, our defense is going to drop. Marill eats this one up. But another close combat should be able to take it out. We should be fine here. Let's see what happens here. Another Aqua Jet comes in. This one's going to do a little bit more damage. Just a tad bit more. And then Close Combat's going to roll out again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not very effective because it's Fairy Typing. I totally forgot that this thing switched over to Fairy Typing in Gen... What was it? 6? I think 6 it switched over. But yeah, I remember when Fairy first came out in X and Y. It was so... Like, it feels like it was so... Like, not long ago, but it really was. It was like 7 years ago. What was it? 2013? When Gen 6 came out? That is nuts. That is nuts, because I remember when it first came out, I remember I had my little 3DS, I was in my basement, I was ready to play that game, I was so hyped for it, I picked it up day one, I chose Froakie as my starter, and we were rolling from there. But this is our fourth battle, I think there's five of them on this tower. I think it's five, which isn't bad at all. But there we go, it goes with Poliwhirl, dude, I love Poliwhirl. I think I gotta get it to rain in the swamp so I can get a Poly Toad. Oh my god, I cannot wait to use that thing competitively. But I think a nice little close combat. Actually, we'll go we'll go Brick Break. We'll get started with a Bricky Break. He's going to Protect. Okay, that's totally fine by me. Go on Protect. I think Poly World's so cool. And Polyrath is sick just as well. They're both just so cool looking. Like, look at this thing. I gotta go catch one. But I'm pretty sure it just needs to be able to rain. It just has to be raining, right? Go to Brick Break. Does a decent amount of damage. And then I'm just going to roll up with another Brick Break and finish that off. Actually, the What's Called probably could have killed it. The Close Combat? Get him right in his little swirls. Give him the one-two boppo. <laughs> Brick Break gets protected once again. Look at this dude hopping up and down. You guys know I'm already the best trainer out there. Another, he's going to go for another Whirlpool. What's going to do with eh, He's going to trap us in a little bit. But I don't know if I should give a potion out to Kupfu. Because I don't want to die and do this all over again. That'd be trash, man. That'd be straight trash, kid. <laughs> but there we go. Take him out and we get a level. Woo! Level 74, baby. Oh, yes, sir. One more left, I believe. All right, that was number four. I believe we have one more left. I mean, if so, I, I'll just give a potion uh, mid-battle. That's totally fine. But let's go. Up the stairs. Up the dojo. I love the whole theme for this. It's just all dojos and all that. And here we go. Oh, it's Mustard up here. Yo, what's good, Mustard? Mustard, what's good, big dog? My dude. There you are. I figured you'd choose a Tower of Water, so I decided to wait here for you. Jeans, Kupfu, you've both done well to get this far. A bear. <laughs> Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since I last battled. Last time I battled like this, but I think I can handle it. Let's get it, yo. Let's go, Mustard. What you want? So I gotta battle Mustard once again. I think I'm gonna eventually uh verse him one more time. I think I'm gonna verse him at least one more time because they're all saying how strong this dude actually is. What the? Yo, this dude's nuts doing flips and stuff. He has Kufu of his own. What you mean? I thought I got Kung Fu. Would you breed him or something? Is mine higher level? What's good? I need to get serious if I'm going to take you on. Yeah, you better. You better, big dog. Bro, I thought we were the only ones that had, that had Kung Fu. That's whack. Level 70. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna, I am gonna. have Aerial Ace. That's super effective. Get it. I should be able to outspeed. You need to watch closely. This is what Kung Fu's fists are truly capable of. He's going to go first. And he's going to go with Aerial Ace. Yo, don't take me out, bruh. Can I use a potion? Can we take him out? Oh my lord. He outspeeds me? That's whack. We get a crit though. Can I use a potion? I should be able to use a potion. Don't I have yeah, max potions. Use this item. Yeah, on Kupfu. There you go, Kupfu. Take it, buddy. Yeah, mid potion. This thing's gonna hit me with another aerial ace. Which I'm back at full health. Hopefully we can eat up. Oh, we focus energies. He might crit, but I think we can eat it up. We should be good. Getting pumped up. No way he one-taps my Kupfu. That'd be cat. Iron Head Brick Break. I'm just going to go for another Aerial Ace because it cannot miss. He goes for a Brick Break. We should be able to eat this up fine. He does get a crit on it. Thank God he didn't go for Aer Aerial Ace. And this attack never misses, so GG, man. GG. That's game over. Yo, Mustard actually doing some work. He's a pretty strong guy. I had to use a Max Potion for him. But get out of here. Our Kupfu is superior. Which XP? Only 15, Hondo. But still, see you later, Dojo Master Mustard.
Dang, dude. He focus energy. If he would use aerial ace, he would have one tap me. But so we get 14k Poke dollars for that one. And bang, though. Finish up the water tower. So I believe we can evolve him. I hope so. That'd be dope. What a team. Yeah, what a team of just one kapu. Impressive. Most impressive. I know. I know. I'm the best. I'm the best, man. <laughs> Look at my boy Cubby. Oh, oh. Give me a little bit of knuckle action. Now he's hyped. Oh, look at him fist. Look at him fist. Oh, jeez. Look at, dude, he's going off. <laughs> My boy Gunfu, yo. You see him piecing up, punching the air and stuff. What's goody? What's going on? Did we get the evolve now? Fuahaha. I knew you were worthy of my trust, Jeans. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Cub Fu to the level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial, but he never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. Now it's finally time for Kung Fu to evolve. Go and show Kung Fu the scroll of waters and Kung Fu is ready now. <gasps> oh yes sir, come here Kung Fu. We get to evolve him, come here. Kung Fu, look at this scroll of water. We're gonna get ourselves our fighting and water Urshifu. I believe it is the rapid stri strike one. Yeah, I believe it's single strike on the dark and fighting one. And this one's rapid strike. But yo, my boy Kung Fu looks at the scroll. And does he just look at it and then he evolves? He just starts going crazy? A bear. <laughs> I love that sound. And let's go. Bye bye, Kung Fu. It was so much fun having you. We're getting ourselves big old Urshifu. But I wonder what else is in the story now. Yo, look at this thing. Oh. Your Kung Fu evolved into Urshifu. Does he learn it? He's got to learn a cool move, right? It looks so dope. Fighting in water. Rapid Strike style. It's believed that the Pokemon modeled its fighting style on the flow of the river. Sometimes rapid, sometimes calm. Oh, this thing's dope. This thing is dope. Oh, yes. He wants to learn a move. Surging Strikes. You're definitely learning that move. It's like his signature move. The water move. How much does it hit for? 25. But how many times does it hit for? The user have Master Water Strikes the target with a flowing motion three times in a row. This always attack. Three crits in a row for 20? Yo. Get out of your Iron Head. Iron Head, you're gone. Get out of your Iron Head. <laughs> that is dope. Stab crits? This thing is going to be phenomenal. Does he want to learn anything else? Or just Surging Strike? That is a dope move. Look at this. Behold. Before you stands Urshifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered a style of water. Be aqua. <laughs> Be aqua. I don't even know how to say it. But there we go. Yo, dude, this thing's huge. I'm going to have this thing following up behind me. It's like a giant bodyguard for me. But we get Mustard's League card. And I believe there is more to the uh, the Isle of Armor story mode. I'm 100% positive. Because I believe we have to verse like the gym trainers. I believe there's two of them. So let's just go see what happens. Does somebody else get an Urshifu? Like the dark one? Because if that guy has a cub food, then someone else does. Adventure to your heart's content, the Galar region is yours to explore, it just said. So, is that it? Is that it? I thought there would be more. Well, let me check the map real quick. I thought there would be more to, uh, this. Where's the flag at? Is there a flag? From almost positive, I thought there was more to this, uh, this, what's it called? This place. I'm going to head back to the dojo and just see what's going on. I'm gonna head back to the dojo real quick and see what's going on. This could be our last episode of the DLC. Actually, I'll probably do another one of me exploring everything. Maybe, maybe not. But let me go check what's back here. I definitely want to do more uh, videos on this, especially like collecting the diglets and all that. But I'm gonna head in the dojo see if anything happens. We do have a dark screen, and here we go. Hop is here. Yes. Okay. So I knew something was something else is gonna be happening here. Oh hey, welcome back, Jeans. Looks like you've been hard to keeping up your training here at the dojo, eh? Yes, sir. Hop. What What are you doing here, man? Surprising, surprise, and nicely done, Jeans. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here for now, and I'm gonna do research on Dynamax. But I'm not. Okay. So I'm wondering, like, I'm I'm almost positive. Like I said, don't we gotta verse that chick again, that Clara? And I think there's another person that we gotta verse, like a top hat guy. I think there's two total new gym leaders or something like that. Hmm. Let's just see what he has to say. He's talking about the max suit, all that good stuff. And now what's he say? And that certain something is, that certain something is, that certain something is. <laughs> it's exactly what, just tell us. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Look at Mustard, dude. Mustard looks like a beast. He said he forgot. Okay, I'm just curious. If I do not figure this out, someone let me know in the comment section down below if there is more to this. Like, I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive. Especially if we come back to the dojo and hops here. You know what I'm saying? If Pops here, then something's going on. Hmm. 
So he's gonna go find some max soup and all that good stuff, or max mushrooms. Oh, we just chill here. I'm gonna talk to, uh, let's check our map again, because usually a map tells us what to do. Still gonna say Galler. Head to the forest to help hop. Okay, so that is another thing we have to do. Like I said, the story must continue on. Um, I'm not going to actually go help out Hob now. I'm going to chill on the island just for a little bit longer. Find some Diglets and all that good stuff. Show off Urshifu's new moves. And maybe catch some new Pokemon just for a little bit. Probably not too long. But yo, let's go. Um, anything down here? I heard we can catch a Sprinx. So I'm actually going to do that. We're going to go try to catch a Sprinx. Sprinx. I, I, I have ter terrible time pronouncing it. But we're going to head through the cave because I believe the cave is the easiest way to do it. Urshifu, come on, buddy. Where's he at? Look at my dude. Yo, he runs so cleanly. He runs so cleanly. But we caught a lot of these Pokemon right here. We're just going to head straight forward to the Lowlands. And then we're going to go try to catch that thing. I would love to get a Luxury. <gasps> a Zoomer Reel. I don't think I have that yet. Who is that? There's Polyrath. Should I catch Polyrath? He's dope looking. He's dope looking. I do not have Polyrath. I do not have Gold. Like a lot of these Pokemon right here I do not have. So I'm going to catch them on later on. But here is the Lowlands. And I believe we can go straight up to the right. And that supposedly is where Sprinx is. Sprinx, I can't even pronounce it. I don't know why. It's just something wrong with me. I hear something in there. Oh, it's Saladit. <laughs> it's Saladit. But I want to show off uh, Urshifu's uh, final moves. It's a uh, new move. Look at this thing. Oh, he's looking spicy, dude. He's looking so spicy. Let's go. Let's get Surgeon Strike. Super effective, too. Stab. Always Krin. I just want to see how it looks. <laughs> oh. Oh my lord! <laughs> See you later! See you later! This thing's a beast. This thing is a beast. No way this thing's gonna be BGC legal. <laughs> Not a chance. If this thing can crit every single shot with uh, three hits, stab as well, he's gonna be a beast. He's gonna be a beast. But supposedly he is up here. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, <gasps> dark. Do I have to catch him? Is that a different lichen, lo lichen rock? Or is it considered the same one? I think it's considered the same one. There's Rock Rough. Paladin. What is that? What the heck is that? Oh, that's a little Maifu. Yo, leave me alone! I'm trying to look for uh, Sprinks, but I can't pronounce it again. <laughs> I think it's going to be somewhere over there. Well, let me check this random grass right here. Is this going to be you? Show it to me, baby. Nope, we got Rock and Roll. I'm going to check uh, one more, and then we're going to be finishing off the video just there. But yo, it's awesome. We got Urshifu. We're chilling here. And then in the next episode, we continue on. I knew there was more. I knew there was more. Because I was going to say, is that all I, all I get to do? And catch a Pokemon? There's another thing stuck in the tall grass. Show it to me, baby. Show me the dog. I only heard he's here. I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys do know where he's at, Luxury's first stage, let me know in the comment section down below. So uh, next time when I'm recording, you guys, I can just catch him up real quick. Or I could probably get him on stream. It doesn't really matter, but still. So I love to know because I really do want him. We'll check one more. Where's that tall grass shaking? Let me tall grass anymore. I hear one. Where is it? I was right there, but it's going. There. Where is it? I hear it. There we go. Got it. Show it to me. No, nope, we got pawn yard. That is all good. So I'm going to show off a uh, certain strike one more time. Dude, I love Urshifu. He's so cool. But I was surprised I had to get this thing to level... Uh, Level 70. I was like, what do you mean? He's only level 45. So that's nuts. So yeah, you can start the Isle of Armor whenever you want, but training up, what's it called, to uh, 75 is going to be tough, especially if you haven't beaten the game yet. But there we go. Double critical hit. It hits up to three times. That is amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Of course, we hit another so land it right here. I'm going to finish it off. But guys, in the next episode, we are actually going to be going into the forest, helping Hop out and seeing what else this story has to offer and potentially catching some more Pokemon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.